I'm here at Club Wyndham Ocean Walk in Daytona Beach, Florida. Are you considering it for your next trip to the Sunshine State? Well, you might want to stick around. I'm going to take you on a tour right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy. Before we get started taking you on a tour here of Club Wyndham Ocean Walk in Daytona Beach, Florida on what is a pretty cloudy day, I want to let you know on this channel, I provide my knowledge, tips and advice to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. And hey, even if you don't own timeshare, but you love staying at these fantastic resorts, I also do villa tours, resort reviews, and resort tours as well. So be sure to stick around, hit that subscribe button down below, and also click on that notification bell, and you won't miss out on any videos. So let's get started here. Let's turn this camera around. I'm gonna take you on a tour of Club Wyndham Ocean Walk, Daytona Beach, Florida. Okay, so here we are. We're out here on Atlantic Avenue. Plenty of shops right across the street from the resort. Some shops, some restaurants, some fast food places. There's a diner over here, an IHOP down there. But uh, we're not here to see that. We're going to take a walk through Club Wyndham Ocean Walk here. Something unique about this property that uh, we haven't really found in a timeshare yet is it is actually part whole ownership condo and part timeshare. So this here is the North Tower over here. Really big, tall tower. From what I understand, this is pretty much all timeshare, all Club Wyndham. And then over here is the South Tower, which is part timeshare and part whole ownership. So when you come in, you're going to drive up this big hill here and uh, pull up here. They'll give you some direction. They'll give you a kind of a just a temporary key to get into the garage that is over here. You cannot park in the South Tower garage, which is over there. You do have to park in the North Tower here, but not really too big of an issue. Plenty of parking in there, at least this time of year. And then when you go in, you'll come down into a kind of a lobby over here. Looks like there's lots of check-in desks. We'll take a look at that a little bit closer when we go in, but technically you'd almost want to go in over there. Let's head inside, take a look. Yeah, so heading into the main lobby here. <laughs> this lobby is a little colorful here. You do have some seating here. This is where you would go to check in for your stay. They do have a number of games here as well, but they also have an arcade area that we'll take a look at in a little bit. They also have quite a few of these claw games. They seem to be big on claw games here. There is also a bar here that does open up, I believe, in the evenings. It's obviously early in the morning. Let's take a walk over here. We do have the Sunrise Bistro, kind of their marketplace. You can get some food items. They do have Starbucks coffee, frappuccinos, that kind of thing. And some seating out here for that. The pool is out here. We're going to take a look at that towards the end of the video, so be sure to stick around. We'll be heading out there after we take a look around inside. But like I said, here's some additional games. They do have pool tables here as well. These are all for a charge, so keep that in mind. Unlike most timeshares, you do have to pay for billiards here. Not exactly sure how much it is. Might be a dollar fifty, I think. Yeah, it looks like it might be a dollar fifty all in quarters. They do have a change machine over here. I believe that you have to pay for this because, like I said, full ownership. So residents here, staying and Club Wyndham owners and guests as well. So just keep that in mind. I'll take a quick walk past the bistro. Like I said, Starbucks coffee, some food items in here, some additional kind of sundries, some basic apparel, not too much here. Nothing personalized for the area or even for the resort, but plenty of drinks and beverages too. Continuing around here, we're now walking past the check-in and guest services here again. Now there are a number of luggage carts here, but these are for the residents, not uh, Club Wyndham. These stairs go down to a lower level that we'll take a look at here in just a few moments. So over here we have the North Tower. This is primarily where a lot of the timeshare units are. And when you come in from the parking lot, this is kind of where you come in from and you think, hey, here's all the Club Wyndham check-in desks. A lot of desks here. But this is really just where you come and get your wristbands for them to try and sign you up for a timeshare presentation. They do have some seating areas here as well. Those are the elevators for the North Tower. That's actually where we're staying. We'll go up those in just a few minutes, but 
we're going to go in here and take a look at the indoor pool. One of two. There's one here in the north tower, and there's one in the south tower as well on the lower level. This is actually the nicer of the two. We'll take a quick look at the other one in a few minutes. Yeah, you have some loungers in here. Just a nice pool, and uh, yeah, not really a whole lot to get excited about. There is no hot tub or spa in here, so keep that in mind. If you want to use a hot tub, you have to head outside. They have three of them out there, I believe. Yeah, just a nice indoor pool here. Okay, we're going to head out this door here. Okay, so now we're going to go down here and we're going to get in an elevator. We're going to go up to the fourth floor just to take a quick look at something. And then we're going to head down to the lower level. Okay, so we're in the elevator here. We're going up to the fourth floor. All of the elevators actually do have a pretty good scene on them, a pretty cool photograph on the inside of the elevator. Just a quick trip up to the fourth floor. Coming in here, we're on the fourth floor here just to take a quick look at the arcade area here. They actually just turned all of the lights on because this doesn't open until 8 a.m., open 8 to 10. So all these claw games, like I said, they're big on the claw games for whatever reason. But they have air hockey here, a number of arcade games as well. And over here they do have just a small five hole kind of mini putt inside here. All indoors, we actually have floors five through eight above us here. And the floors above eight, it goes all the way up to 20 something. Those uh, obviously just look out over the city. We're going to head down, we've taken a look at the lobby we took a look at the small arcade that they have here. We're going to head down to the lower level. Okay, so I've just stepped out of the uh, elevator lobby here. Just to show you really quickly the parking garage here. In the North Tower, you have quite a bit of parking here. Eight levels of parking, actually. So if you are in a villa in the North Tower on floors up through eight, you can actually park on the level in the parking garage that you're in and walk directly inside here through the doors. No need to take an elevator but it is a lot of up and down through the levels. There is also a door down there, at least up through floor seven is what I found, where you can also walk directly in the other end of the building to get to villas. So definitely a handy trick there. Let's head back inside. Yeah, so now we're heading down to the lower level, like I pointed out in that last elevator. This one has a different beach scene. So they all have a different scene of some kind. So here is the lower level. You have exit to the parking garage. In fact, floors one through eight exit out to the parking garage through a door over here. So if you're on one through eight in the North Tower, you can take an elevator straight up to your floor and straight out to your room. And so here we are on the lower level, just a small business center here, a couple of computers. Doesn't look like they have a printer though, so can't print anything out. A couple of seating areas over here. Those are the uh, steps up to the lobby level that I kind of pointed out just a moment ago. And this is the south tower. This is the resident tower, but like I mentioned, there are some timeshare units here as well. You do have a gym right behind the glass here. This is also where you'll find the indoor pool. Now it's dark in here. They haven't turned the lights on, but I was able to get in, but the other indoor pool down here on the lower level. So like I said, you have one on the lobby level, one here on the lower level. This one, quite a bit smaller than that other one, but still not too bad when the weather isn't that great outside. Now I am in the elevators to the south tower. I want to point one thing out here. This is the elevators that you'll take. If you want to go directly to the shops that are right next door, restaurants, shopping, all pretty convenient. You can take the elevators, the south elevators, up to the fourth floor to head outside there. All right, so we've now made it outside. This is the uh, main pool area. You have the uh, ramp here that comes down from the pool area into inside here because this is where the restrooms are. But we're gonna head up here and take a look at the south tower pool first. 
and then also the north tower they do also have a lazy river out here and a number of hot tubs as well so yeah here it is the uh, south tower pool pretty good pool they actually have some nice pools some nice pool loungers and you'll notice the big difference between the south tower and the north tower at least in the way of pool furniture because they have different pool furniture on each side i guess the south tower is the responsibility of the homeowners association here at ocean walk the residential homeowners association and the north tower is the responsibility of club Wyndham. so we do have a water slide over here and back behind me we'll get a better look at this from the boardwalk but you do have the north tower here pretty tall building the south beach exit here no it doesn't go to south beach <laughs> that would be a long walk but you can also take this out here to the boardwalk and walk over to the ocean walk shops there is also a set of restrooms down here at the south end so you don't necessarily have to always go inside to use the restrooms while you're at the pool just kind of continuing around here around the south pool there's a hot tub over here pretty good sized hot tubs that they have here at the resort and here you can actually get a good look out there to the atlantic ocean which today is actually pretty wild lots of waves we actually saw some surfers going out the other night lots of boogie boarders out there probably a little bit later in the day just one last look here at the south pool before we head over and take a look at the north pool the lazy river and also a kids play area so as we make our way over to the north pool we're going to go past the lazy river now it's a pretty small and pretty narrow lazy river not really a whole lot to it i wouldn't use this as your main draw for coming to the resort but they do have a lazy river here kind of just float around i believe they actually also provide tubes i'm not too sure i saw some quite a few tubes floating in it the other day but right now there isn't any maybe they normally put them out there on the island i'm not too sure not sure why they would have taken them away maybe they do it at night put them back out during the day not too sure but that is the lazy river now we're coming up to the north pool here there is a bar area here i actually did see this open the other day and then we have the north pool right over here yes yeah, so another pretty good sized pool here right at the base of the north tower up there the colors are kind of interesting on this purple and yellow <laughs> kind of a little interesting kind of in my opinion dates the property a little bit even though it's actually fairly new it was built in the 2000s so not really that old maybe only 17 18 years old total between the two buildings but uh yeah another hot tub over here and like i said there's three of them we'll take a look at the last one here in just a moment and over here is kind of a children's splash and play area looks kind of cool if you're a little kid so one last look here at the north pool and then we're going to head down and take a look at the boardwalk yeah the uh, kids area is called club kitty kitties only please so you adults don't be playing in the kids area some ramps here these go down to restrooms that are on the lower level inside actually so make sure you dry off before you try to head to the restrooms here at least the ones that are inside and we're just walking up a ramp here this actually takes us back up to the lobby level and uh, there's one more hot tub here and then like i said we're going to head down to the boardwalk get a little bit closer look at the beach yep there's that hot tub there just a, a little bit smaller and some seating areas over here saw some people out here the other day reading a book but this goes back into the main lobby okay so now we're going to head out this exit here it goes down to the boardwalk there's actually a north exit and a south exit and this one so three exits out actually oh, this one's open now it says it's locked from 10 to 6 and i think you have to push this button actually to get out because you do need your key to get back in so here is the boardwalk here at daytona beach it actually ends here at the resort so comes up here to ocean walk and then you can take it all the way down there to the pier and joe's crab shack yeah, so now taking a walk around here you have the band shell here so they do a number of concerts shows that kind of thing here in the band shell and 
right over here, I'm not actually gonna walk through it, but over here is where the Ocean Walk shops are. You have a Sloppy Joe's, there's a Bubblegum Shrimp, Wing House, there's also a Johnny Rockets up on the second floor, so if you're looking for something quick and convenient, you can just head right next door here to the Ocean Walk shops, grab yourself a bite to eat, number of surf shops, apparel stores, sunglass hut in there as well. So definitely great to have that essentially attached directly to the resort. And like I said, you can go up to the fourth floor in the South Tower and it comes out on the third floor here in Ocean Walk Shops. And then you can take stairs, an elevator or an escalator down to the restaurants. So we're going to just head back through here. I kind of took a little bit of a long walk around by taking the boardwalk. There are some stairs here that when you go back up, you can just take a quick walk across there back into the south entrance of Club Wyndham Ocean Walk. Okay, so there you have it. A tour here of Club Wyndham Ocean Walk, Daytona Beach, Florida. What do you think of the property? Are you heading here for a trip in the near future? I'd love to hear all about it. Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help with these videos. Also helps to tell YouTube you like these videos and to send you more just like it. And if you want to see more videos all about Timeshare, check out the description box below for another video about Club Window Motion Walk. Check out this one right up here and YouTube. They think you like that one down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, let's make your next destination a Timeshare.